Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm super excited to be getting into the reading today. Let's go ahead and jump straight in. Any information you need to book a reading from me will be listed below. Also, if you guys want to get a question answered, I go live every single day or every other day when I'm able to. Uh, and I do question readings where you guys can ask me a question for a small donation. So definitely subscribe to my emailing list if you want to get notified whenever I go live. All right, let's get into it, Aquarius. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. What are the messages for them? All right, so we have the Judgment card as well as the King of Coins as the first cards. So Judgment card next to the king of coins this is given epiphany energy you guys could be having epiphanies about how you truly feel about someone um and this is just like suddenly there could be a dream that triggers this epiphany moment this could be you sitting back and and pondering on certain things and you have this this personal epiphany but you could be realizing that you really do care about somebody or you're way more invested in them than you may have been giving yourself um credit for previously um you could even be contemplating on whether or not a second chance is due to a particular love interest this could be a capricorn taurus or virgo with this earth energy or just someone who you could have a little bit of trust issues around or you felt like you could trust at one point and you're wondering whether or not they can still be trusted i also see that you guys are on the brink of change especially when it comes to finances there could be this um change of events that kind of manifest around your career so this could be you hearing back from a school that you may have applied to that you've been accepted or this could be you hearing back from a job you may have applied to that's out of state and this is going to put you in a a different financial bracket and just in a different position in terms of how you make money as a whole I also see spiritual awakening. Some of you guys may develop this like desire to eat cleaner or put certain things in your health regimen, um, maybe even like go out into nature more. But I just see you guys tapping into a higher level of like seeing things, even kind of like getting a deeper understanding of certain life lessons that you've had to go through up until this point. Okay, some of you guys could even um, find yourself getting like some sort of groundbreaking reading in the next couple of weeks. And this really helps you put your life on track in a way. But, hmm. All right, let's keep going. Some of you guys also could be getting some sort of fame or recognition or you could be meeting somebody uh, who you kind of value or you see as someone who's famous or has some sort of reputation. This could be a very intimate moment for some of you guys as well. I'm seeing so many messages in these cards. Okay, we also have the Magician and the Two of Cups here. So another thing I'm seeing, you guys could be just quite literally manifesting things just naturally. And understand that Law of Attraction is something that happens... It could happen in an intentional way and also unintentionally. We're manifesting all day. Just by the words that we speak, the thoughts that we think, the actions that we take, we're, we're manifesting. But some of you guys who are single, you could be quite literally manifesting new love in your life when you weren't even expecting it or not even looking for it. This could be somebody who you really feel connected to. There could be some sort of bond that naturally develops between you and this person that you were not expecting to kind of just manifest. Hmm. Some of you guys also will be questioning someone's true intentions of coming back around you could be thinking maybe they're up to some sort of manipulative tactic or their intentions aren't right. So you could be side eyeing some sort of love interest over the next couple of weeks. 
Now, another thing Spirit is pointing out, when it comes to just your emotional well-being, there's definitely going to be a need for you to have balance in that arena. You could be finding yourself a little bit overwhelmed or having things outside of yourself affect you. But there's definitely a need for you guys to, like I said, have a balance within your own energy before you can make other people a priority for you. Hmm. Let's pull one more card. All right, we have the nine of spears in reverse. So you could be feeling just over it, over it, over it, over it. There was something here that you were exhausting your energy in countlessly. You were just giving too much of yourself, almost to a point to where you just, you reached an ultimate breaking point. And with the nine of wands in reverse, this is... Hmm... Again, just the energy of you guys not really having the proper boundaries in place. I will say that and having to realize that. So you guys literally also could have problems with like literal boundaries like around a home, something with neighbors. <laughs> but like boundaries in terms of like. You guys could have somebody who's draining your energy and you're constantly feeling like you have to exert yourself to to prove yourself and it, it's time for you guys to just put more boundaries in place between you and certain individuals or certain behaviors that other people project onto you hmm let's see what the oracle cards have to say Aquarius, what are the messages coming through for my Aquarius? All right, so we have re-energize in the natural world. Let your inner hunter or huntress take rest. So yes, some of you guys literally need to get back into nature. This going to work, coming straight home, the hustle and bustle of life. Although I get that that's literally just something that's a part of life at this point. <laughs> Uh, going to work and, and all of that but you definitely want to fit meditation nature in your schedule okay even if that's going outside and planting your feet in the grass for 15 minutes and, and grounding it's important to because you don't want to ever take yourself completely away from the natural world we, we came from nature even though society tries to brainwash us and to think that we just were always meant to be in an air-conditioned uh cement home or you know wooden home no we were we were meant to be out in nature from the beginning that's where we come from so never neglect the need for that in your routine and then we also have you cast a spell with your existence magic flows brightly and radiantly within you so yes some of you guys are very powerful okay and understand that constantly we're casting spells it's just with you guys you guys may be extremely magical and being able to move certain blocks and manifest things unknowingly to yourself that's why you want to be very careful you want to be very careful with your power and your energy. And last part we have, your deepest desires constrain you. Let them go and clear, let them go to clear your mind, excuse me. So yeah, some of you guys have certain desires that even though it is a desire, it may be along the lines of a temptation. Um, and I'm thinking every time I see this card, for some reason, I think about the devil card because constraint and desires both together it screams devil card to me anywho um just like the devil card you have to understand that certain desires although it may be something that you desire you feel tempted to to um give energy to those could be the very things that constrain you and hold you back so there's a need for you to look at distractions whether that's people, places, substances, things that you partake in, and, and let them go. Especially if you've already been feeling like it's time to purge your energy of these said things. 
but this is just some of the messages that i see i hope that you were able to take something from this video if you did definitely thumbs up the video subscribe and i will see you later